Hi, today I want to talk about some of the UN actions and communications that we at Human Rights for All or HR4A do. We have an extensive um, and deep relationship with the United Nations uh, in Geneva, particularly in relation to the Working Group Against Arbitrary Detention, in which every opinion that has come out of that group of which there are three a year there are three sessions held of that a year has come from human rights for all um, the working group in arbitrary detention presents a wealth of interpretation of international law regarding detention particularly um, of refugees and stateless people in australia we also liaise extensively with the United Nations Committee Against Torture, which administers the um, Convention Against Torture and a Cruel and Unusual Punishment, and the UN Human Rights Committee. Um, we have achieved a number of interim measures from those bodies, which have stopped the deportation of individuals, particularly Tamils to Sri Lanka. Um, we go through such exercises as for example, uh, for a gentleman this year, I made a request for interim measures, which was eventually granted um, to the UN Human Rights Committee. And for 10 days, I woke up every two hours during the night to check emails and messages uh, from Geneva, as they're obviously on a different time frame, um, to get the UN Human Rights Committee over the line um, for why we say this person's human rights were being abused. Um, and eventually we got there, but it was certainly a very long 10 days. So we have also um, made the first submission, which was filed earlier this year, to Australia's third universal periodic review by the UN, which at the moment, depending on COVID, is scheduled for January or February 2021. It was due in November 2020. So if you would like to support our work with the UN and help us continue to make the UN aware of what is happening in Australia, then please give the gift of freedom. Thank you.